Hello beauties, it's day two of Manifest Using Your Feminine Energy. I'm gonna give you all a moment um, to see who comes on to join us. And I'm going to adjust this lighting to, that's a little too dark, isn't it? All right, well, we'll go there. Hi, who's here? Day two, manifest using your feminine energy. I'm gonna give you all a few moments to come on um, and to say your name. Remember, you're entering the vortex every time you not only show up, but you let your presence be known by commenting. Uh, Dana, good morning, beautiful. Yeah, it's really an energetic process and practice. And a lot of times, especially in this day and age, one of the ways we trick ourselves into movement but not actually supporting our movement is we lightly listen to things, we lightly participate, we contemplate things. We do just enough to hit a pleasure center that goes, I'm doing something, and not enough to actually be a righteous stand for yourself and for what it is that you're wanting to create. So today's energy is feeling really fiery for me. Like it's time to be that righteous stand for you because you're worth it. You're worth like every woman is worth a sovereign womb, worth divine love, worth peace, worth having enough money that they can provide for their children, right? Worth having enough that they can get su support counselors, all the things that you need. And that starts with being that divine mother inside of yourself. So today, um, I'm pretty pumped about this. And Dana, you did a great job putting your your name in here and, or by saying good morning and adding emojis. So I'm gonna give us just a few moments um, to see who else is going to join us. And um, in the meantime, I'm gonna pull a card, Dana, and you're here with me. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of housekeeping and then we get to dive in. We're gonna shift some major beliefs today. But Dana, in the meantime, how was yesterday for you? Did you get to do the 333 on your walk? Ooh, I'm gonna to talk to you about the cup. You're so intuitive. Remind me to talk about the cup. Certain stories came in today and I trust that intuition and the cup is one of them. And you'll love it because you actually you know, Rudy, tell me what came up and who else is here. I'm going to pull a card for us. Oh. oh, Michelle, so excited to have you and to be diving in with you. I'm, I'm pulling, I guess, three cards and this is crazy because I got the same one yesterday for us. Um, so this first one is Pillar of Light, uh, Descent of the Star of Isis. I love this because we are the portal. We are the portal of light. And a lot of, you know, manifesting our reality, it's our nature, it's our divinity. And the things we're going to work with today are some of the things that are just blocking. It's like you are the portal of light. You are the source. The source flows through you. We're going to have a powerful activation bringing your manifestation to the womb at the end of this particular one. But I love that we got this twice. Um, and we're gonna be diving in. The second one, I, perfect. Flower of life, divinity, creativity, and manifestation, right? And lady of the stars, woo! Which is that blue, blue light of the womb when the divine feminine first started calling me. Show, one of the ways that it showed up was a blue light in my womb. I'm going to post that story with my dear friend, Jade. I was on her podcast a couple days ago. So Michelle, did you get to do yesterday? I'm so glad to have you live again. And what came up for you all? As you Did you notice as you got into this state of your heart, then when you went to approach your womb and approach your desire did it feel different and did that make sense for you all the heart and the womb connection and the way manifestation and desire that we've got to move ourselves into a state first 
I want to hear about that. And I'm going to tell you the story of the cup. Okay, we're here early together. Michelle, Dana, and Adora, and everybody watching the replay. Some of you may have heard this. And what you'll notice as I'm leading this, hi, Anna, is that I have a structure in place. And I look at structure as part of the divine masculine inside of me. I have a structure in place and I'm holding that structure for each of us to tap into our feminine ability to create and shift reality. Um, and yes, you've practiced the womb centering before. You must practice so, hello. And then I follow the intuition. I take inspired heart-centered actions. And one of the things that um, wanted to come in today was this cup, but I'm gonna read Dana's the three things that came up for me. I wanna focus on being more assertive, facing insecurities, and an effective communication, and then it cuts off. Today's perfect for you, Dana. Anyone else wanna share something that came up? I saw some of you posted in videos, and I got some messages. Okay, so a little housekeeping before I dive into the prayer, and, um, and tell you the stories that came up for me today to share. And it's gonna help weave and open our hearts and our minds. So first of all, I've had a few of you ask about the meditation that you can get to go along with this. Um, it's still available, it's $9. It is uh, activating, it's the Rich Queen activation. It activates at a cellular level. You can still grab that and it is the link to it is in your first email. And I recommend listening to it daily. You know, in the morning is really great. So yes, you can still get that. And I had one person message me, is there gonna be something beyond this? Yes, there is the Rich Queen Academy. I'm gonna talk about that on uh, the bonus class on day four. So those of you, uh, and it'll be at the end. So the bonus class, we're going through the grail gates in the womb uh, and how you can use them to create. Um, yes, I will show the three cards again, absolutely. Um, hi, Carlene. So Carlene and Anna are here, Anna, and they are both signed up for Rich Queen Academy. Um, so I will make an offer for that with a special plan. If you're already feeling like this person who reached out to me that you want to know about it, message me and we'll contact. But right now, um, no worries. Uh, there is going to be more for those of you who want it. And those of you that don't, absolutely perfect i am here in service of you and your creation and we're going to get a lot of value so beautiful here are the three cards and this is actually anna's deck when she joined rich queen academy i got this for her as a gift and i told her i would use the deck for a little bit to uh to give uh, to give it some energy before she got it so the first one is pillar of light the descent of the star Isis, which I work with the Isis energy a lot, which, yeah, we can talk more about that another time, and I, I love her. And I love the second one, and I, I pulled that card for us yesterday too. The second one is Flower of Life, and I'll put a picture of these in the group. Divine Creativity and Manifestation. And the third one, is Lady of the Stars, Priestess of Sirius, and it's the blue, blue light, which is amazing. All right, ladies, are you ready to say a prayer with me and to activate this and then to use your voice and participate? We have a big shift today. Like I woke up in the middle of the night feeling it, okay? Um, Carlene, it's part of your gift for signing up, so don't go get it, <laughs> okay? Don't go get it. Spoiler alert. It's what I'm waiting on to send out your welcome, uh, your swag bag for paying in full. So, okay, so nice hand on your heart, hand on your womb. All right, so calling in all of our energy, anywhere that it may be leaking out, that it is not needed. Our own sacred energy granted to us to manage our queendoms. We call it in from worries, fears, past regrets, projects, people, places, and things where it is not needed. And we call it back in love, calling it back into our own brain, rewiring our thoughts and our mind 
to align with the divine creative God energy that we are for our own inner genius and divine plan, bringing it into our throat, activating our divine voice, our truth, freeing it to speak what needs to be spoken, to declare with our own words and power what will be so in our own sovereign queendom, calling it into our heart, integrating our wounds, healing and making us stronger, lighting up our soul passion and light energy, healing our body, our energy, our life, calling it into our guts and stomach, healing our digestion, our womb, our, our, I, ended up putting that together. I'm going to go with that. Let's go back to digestion, the courage to say what we need to say, to move where we need to move, to take the inspired inklings that we need to squeeze into this body and into the womb, calling that energy into the womb that knows how to create our reality. And as we set this time and space, I call it divinely guided, deeply intuitive and mutually nourishing. And so it is. Mm. Ow, ow, ow. How does that feel? Okay, first story. But first, I want to know, how was yesterday for you? And how are you feeling today? What came up? And some of you have reported you're already manifesting. You're already starting to manifest things, which is awesome. I manifested a new Garmin watch, <laughs> um, which is really cool. It was a gift. Yeah, it is a cool deck, Carleen. You're so welcome. It's one of my very, very favorites. Um, so let me know what's come up. Anything that you want to share, but say something. And claim it and own it with your sovereign voice and your sovereign power. Because right now, what you claim with your voice and with your power and what you open up and declare, you know what, this is my territory. This is my land, this body, this queendom, this is my house. And I claim by faith every single thing that is mine. I claim my peace, I claim my power, I claim my inspired action, I claim my ability to rise, with my emotions and above my emotions to do the things that will serve my highest and greatest good. I claim my emotional state. I claim my presence. I claim my pathway. I claim my divine love. I claim my divine peace. I claim my relationships. I claim my family. I let go of what no longer serves me. I integrate and rejuvenate. Yep. Yeah? Are you feeling me right now? That's the energy of today, and it's perfect. It's perfect. Oh, I've got chills. You're already creating a new plan for your recent and continuing journey. I love it. Okay, ladies, what else? What came up for you? I love praying for others, the same thing that I wish for me. Yeah, isn't that great? It feels so good, doesn't it? And it's a great way to lift, and it's alchemy. It is alchemy. Okay, because the truth is infinite intelligence runs through your being. God, goddess is who you are. That is who you are. You are a co-creator creating reality as God with God upon the planet, hand in hand with all these other people. And so the beliefs that are in the way, those are some of the things we're going to shift today and we're already shifting right? But I want you to begin to think, how does God think? How does spirit think? And then to let those thoughts come from within, right? And, and here was the big breakthrough, you know, for me in contemplating this. Yeah, leading to action and overcoming fears. I'm, I'm just covered in chills. I, I'm talking so fast because major energy has come through as I'm connecting to each of you this morning and what it takes for us to go to the next level, right? So as you did those things that, that you did, one thing I do wanna know and I want you to put here in the comments is what is it that you want? And I know you want a lot of things, but what's top of your heart right now that you most want to create. And I know we said it yesterday, but we keep putting it in. Just like you shower daily, you know, we're a stand, it's a stand. And we're gonna work on the beliefs around what is blocking around what you want. So it's important for you to say what you want. What is top of heart that you're wanting to manifest? 
Say it again. Okay, so this cup, Dana, you're so intuitive, Mama, um, because I'm I'm really queens are my thing, and I have a lot of gold and you know other things. So this is kind of offbeat for my house. All right, I want peace in my family. Anna wants peace in her family. All right, and now, right now, everybody think about Anna and just see for her peace in her family right now. I want you to see peace. Put, put your hands out, put your heart out, and just send peace, loving thoughts of peace and honest family. See her smiling and happy and just standing there and being like, wow, I just love that there's so much peace in my family. All right, let's go ahead and activate this right here. All right, Dana, debt-free, financial freedom, and security, okay? So I want everyone put out your hands and just like send that energy, even if you're watching the replay, you guys. So this is Next Level Prayer. I want you to see Dana celebrating and dancing and like, yes, I'm debt-free. I have financial freedom. I have total peace in my finances and my ability to care for my son, right? financial security and I know I can create it again and again and again and what we're doing today and tomorrow it's going to help set the energetic stage for that it's in existence you're manifesting thrival energy more vitality more soulmate clients that are mutual and a six-figure biz awesome and Michelle if you I don't know if you saw my assignment we're about to send that over to you but I have a meditation that is for attracting divine clients and I said everyone who could get it free that goes live in the group to share what they're wanting to create and what their aha is and then goes and celebrates other people so if you do that I'll send that meditation to you all right so everybody are you with me put your heart out put your hands out and take michelle and see her just really manifesting and feeling energized thriving just in her peace in her like yes joy and just vitality in her body see her having so many clients just drawn to her like they are like oh i love you i love you i love your work i love what you do see them and see her celebrating it yeah see her celebrating that and her six-figure business yeah schools opening up again in january all right so let's go with carlene yes 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 the kids in schools that they're safe they're happy they're excited and carlene has her open space so that she can work during the day and her her beautiful son gets to go and be with people and socialize and with the professionals let's see that and right now let's send peace to every mother dealing with this right now give them the resourcefulness the ease the grace and also their projects i want to call angels to work on their projects because they've been assigned to these children so while they're working with their children they are blessed and their other projects are multiplied that there's a team of workers of angels that go further the projects while they're busy caretaking for their children that they see miraculous leaps inside of their projects everybody in for that yeah all right, so Carlene, you need to go live in my group. That's how you get that meditation, <laughs> all right? You go live in this group and share who you are, what you're hoping to get, what's opening up for you, anything like that. Okay, so now about this, uh, about this stuff, this cup, I'm gonna weave in these stories because they open our hearts and they open the space and this intuitively dropped in and right away Dana was like, I love that cup. So there was a day when I was launching my book, okay? And it felt like hell was breaking out. And it, it, it on my relationship front, on uh, in my parenting, in my ability to show up and just like things, does anybody know what I'm talking about? It's like, <clears throat> day will reach six. Okay, yes, just fell in my head, day. Dana will reach six F. Dana will reach six figures. Got it. Hey, and she, she's got a psychic gift. All right. Beautiful. Yeah. And so will Michelle. 
All right, so has anyone had a day like that? It's like you're approaching something that's major to you. And it was major to me to release this book and to really own my voice and allow myself to be seen like that. Um, it's an it's another level of transparency. It's a love another level of vulnerability. It's another another level of a lot on the line, right? Dana's receiving it. It's so beautiful, and. Um, I've got chills. You all are, we're working magic together. It's so beautiful. And you know, it just felt like hell was breaking loose and my insides were shaking and I needed to like care for myself and get myself to take the steps that in the past I had sabotaged. Like in the past, there was a fear all this fear that I was feeling and all this outbreak, it was showing up in my life as like little explosions and in all these different areas of my life. They weren't huge, but they felt huge, right? And one of the things that I realized was like, oh my gosh, this has been why I haven't written the book before because I had been saying from the age of 17 that I was gonna write a book, lots of books to empower women. And I had gone to workshops and I had done things and I had started books and I just couldn't get myself to do it. And here I was right on the edge and just boom, explosions everywhere. And it was a reflection of what was going on inside. It was like, oh, I'm afraid, I'm afraid, I'm afraid, I'm afraid. I'm afraid I'm not good enough. I'm afraid I'm not ready, I'm afraid. It, but it wasn't even articulating as those words. It was articulating energetically and just, right? And then inside there was this like shaking and yet I was taking action. But man, I had to baby myself through that. I had to, it's like sending a kindergartner to school that doesn't want to go to school, you know, when you got to like take them and hold them and like, um, they don't want to go and you got to love them and be like, here, it's be brave. It's going to be okay. And you send them to school anyway, right? That's what I had to do to myself. Have, have any of you been there before? Well, on that day I prayed, I was like, God spirit right now, please let me see myself the way you see me because right now I see myself as scared, as not enough, as not ready, as made so many mistakes. It's like, what the fuck am I doing? What was I thinking? And yet I know that you've called me to this. I know it's my desire. I know this is my heart. So please, please open my eyes and let me see myself the way that you see me, please give me your eyes. Please <laughs> give me your eyes. Oh my gosh, I can still feel it. And listen, right after I prayed that, it gives me chills. My boyfriend now, who Dana knows, Rudy, at the time he we were just dating, as he was my lover, and he hadn't sent anything to me like this. And he messaged me, this is what I see when I see you. And it was a gif of Wonder Woman. <laughs> right after I prayed that, you know, he said, this is what I see when I see you. See how it's giving me chills, my hairs are standing up. And then I went to the bookstore the next day. I remember just crying, being like, thank you, God, thank you, Spirit. And um, this cup was there, this Wonder Woman cup. So as you can imagine, it's one of my favorite cups to drink out of and this story is perfect you can relate you want to see yourself as the design divine sees you exactly exactly and you know as i'm praying that right now that opened in each of us and i'm declaring it over everyone watching the replay put your hands on your head and say spirit may i see myself as you see me may i see myself in that divine sovereign place may i see and know myself the truth of myself as you see me activated inside as me may my eyes and vision be healed you receive it yeah and that's the theme of today we're going to be tapping into with the feminine divine mother so right now we're gonna be talking about stepping in to mothering ourselves and divine mother as a resource we're gonna activate 
that divine feminine energy inside of ourselves. We're going to look at some of the beliefs that we have, all right, so we can shift them by seeing ourselves as the truth of who we are. And then we're going to bring these desires to our womb, okay? So like we learned yesterday, we don't want to just push with desire but at the same time there are moments where we need a compassionate mother who holds and directs our path right and so a compassionate mother what does a compassionate mother do it, she acknowledges imagine divine mother now some of you are thinking about when you weren't compassionate as a mother who's a better mother drop that shit okay there are enough mother stories where we wounded our own mother you know like let's just let that go right now and i want you to imagine the perfect mother divine mother infinite intelligent wonderful the mother that created and called you into existence what do you imagine her love is like right so she understands and feels your emotions and feels for you and at the same time will be like come on girl write that book come on girl it's time to step up and date again <laughs> come on girl this is a better move for you right so she still can move you into action someone else joined us who's here <clears throat> all right so i have lots of notes Oh, there was one more note that I got when I was tapping into you all in my own prayer, Gaia. That's beautiful. Into my own prayer. And that is perfection. So raise your hand if perfection has been stopping you, that you want to get it so right. You want to get it so perfect. You want to make sure you're choosing the right thing to talk about, the right thing to do, the right place to live, the right person. Like perfection can be paralyzing, okay? Imperfect action is better than no action all day. Hi, Lisa. All right, so that was something that I got from you all right now, and I prayed, and I'm going to pray it again right now. I break the lie of perfection as the standard, all right? Only divinity is perfect. So right now, I want you to imagine taking some big scissors, all right, and cutting the cord of the paralyzing energy of perfection. So you're gonna cut cords with that because it is a lie, it is unattainable, it is paralyzing, and it is not the truth of who you are. You will learn and evolve as you take imperfect actions. There are women all around the world, children all around the world, who feel not ready, not good enough, not slim enough, not young enough, not smart enough, and it is an effing lie, and it comes from a place that does not serve you, all right? So we are going to lay that down together, cut the cords, whoever needed that, all right? I'm letting go of perfection too, all right? And we call this life, this moment, the actions that we're taking divinely guided, deeply intuitive, and perfect, okay? All right, someone needed that. Someone needed that. Okay, there's my note about perfection. Okay. So just like that story of seeing how we need to see, I want to talk with you about as we're moving into this divine feminine and the space of allowing ourselves to receive the truth of who we are, to receive abundance, receive prosperity, there are going to be moments where you're going to need to mother yourself, okay? And mothering yourself is what we're about to do. I'm not going to tell you uh, much more than that. So what are you manifesting? Perfectly imperfect. Yes, 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 yes. So if you haven't written it in the comments already, what are you wanting to manifest? And then the next question I want you to ask, to answer right now, and if you have pen and paper, write it down and put it here in the comments too. What has held you back? Like what are the beliefs that you have right now about why you haven't been able to manifest this? This divine love, these soulmate clients, this financial freedom, this 
peace in your family. Write them down. And it's okay. It's okay to bring them up. Remember, um, alchemy, a lot of times people are afraid to say they're limiting things because they don't want to give life to them or energize them, right? But alchemy is being able to name it first and then to transmute that energy. And that's what we're going to be able to do. Because you can say all day long, there's there are no weeds in my garden. There are no weeds in my garden, right? But pulling up the weeds, seeing where they are, and then replacing it with beautiful plants. Healthy lifestyle, prosperity in your business, financial freedom. Awesome. Lisa, everybody see it for Lisa. Healthy, fit, vitality. You and Michelle prayed almost exactly the same thing. Prosperity in your business and financial freedom. So Michelle and Lisa, I invite you to pray for each other. You know, to see each other living in peace and prosperity, thriving. Beliefs of not ready or not enough. Deservedness. Yep, anybody feel that about your thing? Not ready. Not just, I'm not ready yet. Not enough. I don't know enough. I'm not enough. I don't deserve it. Why? Self-control. Fear. Uncertainty. Hello, uncertainty. 2020 freaking rocked that. <laughs> Manifesting a soulmate. My blocks have held you back. Which blocks, Carlene? Name them. What are some of the blocks? Fear and insecurity. All right. Holds me back. Yeah. Yeah. Finding quiet time to manifest every day. I don't have enough time to be quiet and to manifest. The beautiful thing is, guess what, honey? You're not going to have to find me. I'm, that tells me why I have the other story in my mind. I love this. Second story brought on by Anna. Yeah. It's not about more doing. It is about doing. I just said you're gonna have to get yourself to take some action. But what I mean is the action to generate your energy, to generate the state of moving into your heart, to control, to be with your emotions, hold your emotions, and then as a mother, as a loving mother, grab that baby and go, you know what? I am gonna hold my state. I've also blamed your partner for not supporting me or getting me. Ooh, been there, baby. Maybe even success and expectations hold me back. Yeah, afraid that like if you're too successful, you'll lose friends, you'll lose love, you're, you're, you'll find haters, right? Or you, you won't know how to handle it all. How will you pay everyone? It's a bigger responsibility. What will people expect of you? Will they expect you to be perfect? Because once you're in a limelight, then like more people know and it's greater responsibility. Yeah, procrastination, that's fear. That's just another word for like, hey, I'm going to distract you because it's easier. <laughs> we don't have to go there yet. But listen to what happens. And I've worked for years with people and I've met women that are 80 years old that have been dealing with the same desire to write a book, manifest a soulmate, give, get over the fear for 60 years, right? So can we commit that we're, we're not going to do that, that today is the day. Today is a day. Life is right here, right now. And you are worthy of that life right here, right now. Look, there, there are children that have been through, some of you, some of me, them have been through sexual abuse, physical abuse, terrible things. And they have beliefs that tell them, you know what? You're not worthy of paying your rent. You're not worthy of love. And it is a BS lie, right? You agree it's a BS lie? Well, guess what? Those lies that you're believing right now in your head, in your mind, those are also BS lies. And part of the way we shift that on the planet is we go, you know what? I'm going to take up the space and go in spite of feeling this. And just like every woman on the planet that's feeling this, I am going to transcend and claim my sovereign right to thrive. I'm going to claim my peace. I'm going to lay down the guilt. I'm going to lay down the shame. I repent from those beliefs, from those actions that take away, and I am going to stand in faith and in truth that I am worthy. And as I do that, I activate it for every child, every woman on this planet. We got some fire today. Are you feeling it? I'm yelling. <laughs> I'm yelling so much. Yeah, fear of the unknown, witnessing so many bad relationships made me wonder if happy and successful relationships really do exist. Lies of the enemy. Yes. 
Yep. Yeah, and happy and successful relationships do exist, right? But there's a certain character, right? So we each, well, first let me give you this story, and then let's talk about character, and then we're going to do some healing work right here, right now. Two-part healing work. Who's ready? And do you see each other? Do you see yourself in each other? Read these comments. Do you see that you're not alone? You're not the only person and that every single person who is living their best life that you're idolizing, that you're seeing as like they're so amazing, they have amazing love, they have amazing relationship, that they are dealing with the same things you are. Here is what success looks like. It looks like new level, new devil, right? But with new levels and new devils come new resources, new abilities, new opportunities to grow and to get stronger. Longer. Okay, so success isn't about perfection. It's not about having it all right. And God, Spirit, loves you as much as anybody that you imagine is so amazing and has it all together. You are equally loved. And those of you that have children, think about your children. Do you believe Spirit loves them as much as anybody else on the planet, that they deserve as much as anybody else on the planet? Well, guess what? So do you. And only by accepting that can you energetically transfer that belief to your child. So I'm giving you one more reason to take up the space and take complete ownership of accepting. Stand in acceptance through your faith, through your, yes, the emotions are there. And we're going to process some of those emotions. I'm going to give you powerful tools today for processing some of those emotions. But do you see how when you stand in your faith, in spite of what you're feeling, if you were standing as if you were standing for your own child, as if the way you take control of your mind and your emotions and your belief would energetically give that pocket to your child, how would you stand? How would you go, you know what? Uh, yeah, I'm feeling not enough. Yeah, I'm not feeling good enough. Yeah, I feel like like I can't get it together. But right now, I stand in the faith and truth that I am worthy. I am loved. I am whole. I am enough. I deserve to thrive. I deserve to be here. I deserve this love, this peace, this financial freedom, this support. Right? Who received that? This mother theme is what's coming through today. All right. Now, the story of receiving. Okay. We always have an interesting web, but Car you received it. Yay! Arms up. Lisa received it. Everybody, arms up, heart open. One of your sisters received herself at a deeper level. And as you see a sister receive it and you witness her, guess what? You receive yourself. You anchor it into your body, into your being. We've been taught as women to compare ourselves, to guard ourselves, to fight against one another. But the truth is, it's been proven. Uh, this was 15 years ago that I read this study. But when a man gets married, his life expectancy and his overall health improve. Okay? But for a woman, it's not marriage that does that for her. It is divine sisterhood. Solid relationships with other women. Right? So this is one of our abilities to nourish ourselves to elevate ourselves, to extend our life and our livelihood is coming together like this and seeing each other as sisters, all right? And loving each other, supporting each other. You're literally tearing up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was Dana yesterday, right, beauty? Oh, I've, I've teared up so many times just feeling into you all. You receive with appreciation. I've got chills. Okay. So, Anna, the story. Yes, Lisa will have her healthy lifestyle. Anna received that for you. She's got a prophetic gift, psychic gift. Okay, <clears throat> get some water. If you have water, I want you all to drink. Okay, we're processing some things. You can even just energize it with a little love and drink. We're making it physical digesting, 
receiving it on a physical level. I may need to get up and refill my water in a bit. All right, so here's the story. There, when I first started learning about feminine manifesting, and yesterday, Carleen and I talked about as a parent, if you're a single parent, how do you stay in your feminine energy even whenever, you know, it seems like it requires some masculine energy and, and you know, raw. And one of the things that I shared is presence, like part of the feminine is attuning to the senses. What am I touching? What am I seeing? What's going on in the room? What do I smell? What do I taste? And squeezing yourself into your body to fully sense and feel what is happening, okay? And so when I was first learning about receiving with the feminine, see, when we're only in our masculine about receiving, it's about set a goal, break down the strategy, take massive action, achieve, push, grind, right? And that's beautiful. That is beautiful energy. And we have seasons where we need to go into that more, right? But ultimately, especially as women, we need the balance of the feminine because when we bring in the feminine, we bring in intuition. We take more efficient action. So if you were a salesperson, instead of calling 100 people a day, you get into your intuition, you tap in, you ask spirit to lead you about who you're supposed to connect with, and you have five conversations, and they're each divine, and three of them are your soulmates, right? So, um, in the feminine, you hold a state of creation. You hold an intention. You hold an energy as a container inside of your body. And then you create from your heart those intentions. And then you move into that receptive state of holding this energy and walking about in the planet as this energy. And then the divine alignments just start showing up and coming in, right? It's really very, very magical. So when I first started learning about this, I really needed an income opportunity. I really needed next level of income. And it was before I was coaching full time. And, um, and I remember going, okay, but I'm going to trust and I know I need an income, but I know that I need to focus rather on where's the income? Where's the income? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I need to sink into being that I'm rich that life is rich, that I'm, and my concern at the time was, am I on purpose? I, am I doing what I need to do? Am I doing enough? And so what I chose to embody was I'm on purpose right now and everything that I do, I'm doing my purpose. It doesn't matter if I'm washing dishes and then I would just sink in and feel the water and cleanse away anything that's no longer serving and work in harmony with the earth and clearing out the dishes. And I just really embodied it, right? Just really squeezed into right here, right now. I am perfectly on purpose and what I want wants me and it's coming right to me. And do you know what happened? Within a few days, I got a call and it's a dear friend of mine, Dave, we're still really good friends. And he said, hey, I have a project for you. And it was with social media, and it was calling up these big influencers on social media, and there was no fee for them, but he could help them earn an extra ten, fifteen thousand dollars a month because they had databases. And it was just when they were starting to do advertising, you know, um, outside of Facebook. And anyway, um, it was so interesting because uh, he called me with that. And I was like, wow, that's really cool. This is right up my alley. I used to be known as the celebrity connector and creating strategic alliances between influential people, celebrities and people like this. So I, this is amazing. I'm literally just been doing my dishes and being in life and loving and feeling right on track and working on managing my state of being, trusting that I'm on purpose in flow by faith, right? And that I'm gonna follow any of my intuitive inklings. 
Well, I get this call, and then right after I get this intuition, I have a friend, Jessica Dene, and she owns Hot Moms Club, and she's an it girl in Hollywood, and been in a few um, magazines, and uh, yeah, she's just, she's an awesome person. And um, she dropped into my heart, and so I just call her on her cell phone, and she answers right away. And she's like, oh my gosh, Adora, I never just answer my cell phone. I didn't have your new number saved. And I'm like, hey, and I just start telling her, we've got this thing, social media. And she goes, oh my gosh, we've been looking at how to monetize our platform, okay? And so what ended up happening is boom, boom, within a couple of days, this deal came in and it was beneficial to her, blessed her, she didn't have to pay anything for it. Within a month, she was earning an additional 15 grand, and I was getting, I think it was, I can't remember if it was three or five percent. I think actually we got 10%, so I had 5% of what she was earning, and that, and that was it, and I made several other connections just like that. But guess what, I didn't call a thousand people. I followed my intuition. And so what I'm bringing in here is that sometimes we get so caught up in manifesting with the action, the action, the action that we need to take. And we do need to take action. But the core action that I wanna invite you to take is standing in your faith, holding your energetic space. And then whenever you've committed to certain actions that you know are for your highest and greatest good, is the action to show up and hold yourself. So there's so much that when you're marrying this feminine receptive state of receiving and moving into your heart and allowing yourself to create and manifest from this state that it can just, that's where the feminine comes in, this kind of like, you know, I didn't go out and start calling a bunch of job people. Now, if you get an inspiration or an inkling to call someone, you take that action. I always act, if I get an action, even if it doesn't look like it fits on my normal scale of what I'm supposed to be doing, and it's an intuitive hit, boom, I take action immediately because that's the best use of our inner masculine and our inner feminine. Does that make sense? And does that story help you? Does that help you like open your mind to what's possible and that it's worth doing this spiritual stuff, this state management? And we had someone else join us. Who else joined us here? Put your, put your names in. Okay, so now you brought up your beliefs. You brought up your beliefs. You brought up what you wanted to manifest. Here's what we're gonna do. We have an action and we're almost there. We've got two parts. So everybody has their paper and pen. So we've looked at the beliefs. We've looked at we're worthy. Okay, now here's what I want you to do. You are going to imagine yourself at like age four, you know, or you can imagine your child, but it works best with imagining yourself at age four, okay? Imagine yourself at age four on the left side because the left is the gentle, the feminine. She's this part of you that is, this is where these ideas are coming from. These, I'm scared, I'm not enough, I'm not worthy, I don't know enough. It's coming from this part of yourself. Okay, so I want you to imagine her, okay? And then on your, well, let me move. Before I move to the right, I want you to write down again what's coming up. And I want you to imagine her just needing your love. And imagine, you know, sometimes we're not thinking when we're saying I'm not enough, I want you to kind of separate yourself for a moment. Instead of I'm not enough, see her saying, you know, I think it seems like you think I'm not enough. It seems like you think other people are better than me. It seems like every time I take an action, 
you start comparing me to other people that have taken more action, right? So just imagine her like switching the dialogue a little bit. Okay, and you can close your eyes to be with her um, and write down anything she's saying to you after you're with her for a moment, you know, be with her. And, and now I want you to actually write these things down. What is, what is she saying? And say it from that position, okay? And this is huge because I am is one of the strongest languages. Uh, it, it is the strongest. It is the God language. Everything that you say, I am not enough. I am, you know, you're owning and embodying that. So um, it also allows us to mother ourselves. All right, so this begins to create that new identity and allows you to step into your highest identity and yet still honor and integrate the part of you that needs love, okay? But see, when you hear it this way, you can step into Divine Mother, which we're gonna do next. So I want you to, before we go to the next part, I want you to share some of the things that she's saying. What is she saying to you? Share something that she's saying. I'm gonna wait till someone does. Use your voice. I know it's emotional though. I am forgiven. Yeah. Thank you, Lisa. I am afraid. I am good. Lies, beliefs make so much sense. Me at age four, parents divorced, drug abuse and addiction from my father, abandonment. Yeah. Yeah, so Dana, this is where there's something called self-abandonment, where we keep that abandonment feeling going because we run from these feelings. We think they're too big, they're too scary. We go look for answers outside of ourselves for ways. So. This is the opportunity to grab that girl and to, you seem to think I'm a troublemaker and you can't get things right. Mm. Don't think I've made the connection before to all my insecurities, aw, oh, Dana. Yeah, this is big stuff. This is big stuff. I've got chills all over. Lots of giggles, actually. Yeah, so Lisa's child is having fun being seen. You're cute and funny. Yeah, Dana, so it's the opportunity to grab her and say, I will not leave you. I am here to care for you. You are enough. You know what, you get things right. I love your the way you like to stir things up, Michelle, right? And so, you know, this part of ourselves and her feelings, we also need to separate from the behavior right the sabotaging behaviors this is not these feelings aren't to blame okay the behaviors are something different and so um a lot of times she's blaming herself and you're blaming her and these feelings so then you separate and go i can't be with this right and then what happens she gets louder <laughs> and she needs more because and she feels needier because she's been abandoned right You'll do the exercise on replay. That's okay, Carlene. That's all right. I know you got a baby at home. So now as, as this person, now keep her on your lap and close your eyes again for a moment. And I want you to imagine on your right side, I want you to imagine this version of yourself that is like two years from now, has worked through everything, like everything you're dealing with, has manifested everything that you want, is feeling incredible, is feeling wise, is the ultimate mother, is financially free, is secure, is strong, is confident, has peace in her family, is just rocking it, just feeling so powerful and aligned, okay? 
And so you are the higher self observing both of these. All right, we're taking that seat. So you've got this powerful, already done it, all the wisdom, all the stuff, knows exactly what to do. And I want you to have that version go over to this other part of yourself and tell her what she can count on you for and reassure her that like, hey, I'm gonna take care of you. I'm gonna provide for you. We are gonna get through this and your feelings are okay. And what does this adult mother part of you know that just because she's sad or afraid of being rejected, you know you still gotta go to work, right? You know you wanna go provide a great life for her. You know you wanna create financial security. You wanna allow her peace. You know she feels like relationships can't work and that she's not enough to figure out a soulmate relationship. But this part of you that's figured it out, that got the coach, that got the resources, that did the healing work, right? She knows that it how it works out. It works out well. So now go reassure her. So close, you know, make sure you're closing your eyes to really see that. And for some of you, you may want to just free write, okay? Because writing is a really powerful way to And now I want you to tell her. Right now, get your pen out, get your paper out. And I want you to tell her 10 reasons she is worthy of this peace, of this security, of this love. I want you to tell her 10 reasons. Write it down on a piece of paper or write it in the comments, your choice. You're doing great. Look how far you've come. You're free. Yeah, it's going to be okay. We're learning. I figured it out. Got a debt management plan, right? <laughs> or I'm going to get one. Looking at new ways to create income. Opening my heart to receive that. But I've got you. I will not leave you. I will not forsake you. I'm with you. You are worthy. Right? Ten reasons she's worthy of this love, of this vitality, of this peace, of this thriving business, of soulmate clients where she's getting to serve people that are looking exactly for what it is she's offering and it's just a gorgeous exchange. Yes, I'll be here and I'll help you overcome your fears. Yes. All right, let me know when you've written down 10 things that you're proud of, or not that you're proud of, sorry, that um, maybe that's one of them, but why they're worthy of what it is that you're wanting to manifest. Whether it's financial peace so that you can take care of your children and travel and thrive and do good out in the planet, have good experiences, get the support that you need, take your children where you wanna take them, enjoy the exotic spaces and the workshops that you wanna attend and the things you wanna learn Why are they worthy of love, of a soulmate relationship, of an unshakable partnership that's beautiful? Mm -hmm. Your list is done. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Who else is there? So much of what we believe we're allowed to receive 
comes down to what we feel worthy of receiving and it also comes down to when our emotions and when this part of ourself is saying hey i'm not i'm scared of being rejected i'm scared people won't love me it it requires just like the mother that needs to send her child to school when they're nervous about that first day hi someone else joined us who else is here we have a seventh person um so much of that you know there are times when we've got to integrate and hold and hear those emotions and love ourselves, be there for ourselves, hold space for those emotions and then at the same time mother and take yourself through the inspired actions and through the space of yeah i know you're feeling like that but here's what i'm going to do i'm claiming this inspired state i'm claiming that i know what to do next i'm claiming prosperity i'm claiming peace i'm claiming divinity i'm claiming consistency i'm claiming i know you don't feel like going to the gym today right but i'm claiming your vitality and health so i'm taking you there i'm claiming right and so it's about stepping into that power and holding space of like you're worthy and i got you you are worthy you are worthy you are worthy and then the mothering all right and stepping into that that's part of the aspect of the feminine is that divine mothering that was really healing mm. hold up your arms michelle received healing yes yes celebrate hold it up celebrate michelle receive some healing yes remember when one of us does we all do especially when you celebrate it and integrate that okay so one more thing as we're wrapping up here. Well, I want you first, anything that you wanna share about that, that you wanna put in the comments, do that. Yes, girl, all right, all right. So now, woohoo, Michelle, yeah. So now, and Dana, I know that was really healing. And Lisa, for you too, your girl is, excited and happy and worthy so building on yesterday's lesson I keep bringing you to the heart and to the state first right because again when we bring our desires to the feminine from a place of push or grind or just force without coming into the heart it it's like the womb of creation you know locks up and you got to push and grind and make it happen you can still make it happen right but it's not going to have that ease and that magic and that flow of being so moving back in today's exercise moved us into our heart gave us a tool for being able to mother yeah it warmed your heart when you turned it around i love the way you stir things up oh music to my heart yeah Feel that healing energy, Anna says. So when we move into our heart first, and now I want you to take this desire from your heart and then bring your hands onto your womb. Because remember our womb, back to that portal of light, we are portals of light, we're portals of in spirit, of creation being created in this inspired idea of your financial freedom, of soulmate clients, of peace and harmony and confidence in your body, of being able to love, of being able to give, of being able to serve and to have that freedom and security for yourself and for your family. These are divine inspired ideas. These are the ideas that spirit planted in your mind because they are your birthright. And so now that we've moved into our heart and we're saying, yes, I'm a stand for you. Yes, you are worthy. Yes, I love you. Yes, I say you're allowed to have this. Yes, I say you're as good as Oprah or Beyonce or any anybody else that I love and admire I say yes I believe in you yes you are good enough yes you can have it now I want you to ask can you bring this to that creative power and ask your womb can I plant this desire in and will you work with me to lead me to where I should go and so this is an alignment with spirit with your heart but with that creative force in your womb that that energy that divine feminine that knows how to receive and create miracles and to bring things from spirit into physical 
All right, so ask your womb, can I place this here? Will you help me? Ask Divine Feminine. And now move this desire from your heart. It stays in your heart. It's amplified in your heart. And add that little girl. Add your own children. And then imagine bringing this to your womb and sitting it there. Imagine it like a picture that you place inside of your womb. All right? So imagine placing whatever that picture looks like, a financial freedom, come up with a visual picture of soulmate relationship, of your family peaceful and in harmony. And I want you to place it there. And now calling on my ability to create, to manifest, to receive, calling on infinite wisdom and intelligence, calling on what I want also wants me. I ask that my creative power and presence brings this into being, that my eyes are open, my heart is open, my gut, my womb, my voice, my energy, that I am divinely guided to the things, to the places, to the opportunities, to the calls, to the receiving, to the states of being that bring this into reality and I see it come to being. And I also declare that I'll get signs that it's here, that it's coming, and that real manifestations and inklings show themselves so that I can, and I will celebrate them. All right. And so it is. And so it is. All right. And so here is your assignment. It's really very simple. With what we just did, I want you to, one, continue to imagine the picture of what you're creating in your heart, in your womb. Continue to practice the praying, the gratitude, the what you're proud of. You know, when you feel these feelings, you know, visualizing taking this child and mothering, right? Um, and I want you to, as you're feeling this, you know, ask your womb, ask your heart to lead you and then write down and take action on any inspired action because you're going to get an inspired action to take. You're going to get, and it may be take a hot bath. It may be make a call. It may be, you know, reach out to someone. Okay, but you're gonna get and you're gonna get some inspired actions that come directly from this. Okay, but come into your womb and let it guide you, let it lead you. All right, and it, it's a new listening. Most of us are accustomed to listening to our our mind, listening to our heart, listening to our gut instinct. We, we're bringing attention to our womb because it has its own wisdom. It has its own, and it is the creative wisdom. And it's about what you desire and who you're meant to be and how to bring it about. So we're going to integrate that with all the other mechanisms, okay? And then here's your, the other part of your assignment is that you go live in the group, or post, I prefer live because other people get to see you and be with you and it connects us. But go live in the group and share any ahas that you want about what's coming up for you, what's moving for you. And if you get some inspired actions, come in and go live again, okay? Um, tomorrow's lesson is all about now how do we create on command? How do we continue? to be able to create on command, okay? So we've, we've moved into learning how to work with the feminine, how to deal with these feelings and thoughts of identity, how to mother ourselves, and then bringing it to the womb to help us to create. Tomorrow we're gonna do another activation using our, our feminine power to manifest, all right? Lots of love to each of you. Thank you all who were here live and those of you that have watched the replay. Um, make sure you put your comments in. We're still missing you in the group, but thank you for your messages by email. Okay, lots of love. Mwah, mwah.